Number five, 150 is what percent of 550? 150, how about you, Ben? 150 is what percent of 550? One hundred and fifty times five fifty. Did you have your part? So that will give us eighty two thousand five hundred percent. So what two pieces do you have, Ben? I got my rate and my my part and my base. So you got your part. In your base, which one is the part and which one's the base? The part is the 150. Good. And then the base is obviously, obviously the other. Right. So what does our formula tell us? Divide. 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 Part. Divided by base. Divided by base. Point what? Point two seven. Point two seven. Is that right? What do you think, Juan? Is that right? Uh, no, but I don't know why. Yes, <laughs> no, I don't think so. Like, it's like 30% percent. Yeah. I say yes. If you make the distance decimal with 2%, then we're going to move them back to the base. Oh, yeah, Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done. Okay? So, just as when we are converting a percent to a decimal, we go two, pace, two spaces to the left. When we're converting a decimal back to a percent, we go two spaces to the right. So we just move this over two spaces and add the percent sign and you get 27%. Does it make sense that 150 is 27% of 550? I have, I have yeah. different. Uh, what do you have? 3.66. 3. <coughs> I think you did 550 divided by 150. Yeah. You had it the other way around. Okay. You have base on top. Okay. Part. Okay. So 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 does it make sense that 150 is 27 percent of 550? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. The way I would think about it, because 27 percent is so close to 25 percent or a quarter, you just think about breaking up 550 into fourths. So 600. Right? Or if it was 600, round up to 600. And that'd be 125. So that's about right. You know, rounding up and down. So that's how you know your number's right. 